Hola, me llamo Patricio Hanoi. I'm the Chief Medical Education Officer at the Institute for Functional Medicine in the United States. I'm happy to let you know that over the course of the next year, the Institute for Functional Medicine is going to be making some great forays into Central and South America in order to be able to help our friends and neighbors to be able to deal with the incredible burden of chronic disease that's going on, not only in the United States, but in Mexico, in Central America, and in South America. The WHO indicates that the disease burden in the developing countries is greater than 50% of all diseases based upon chronic disease. These complex chronic diseases that are not responding to simple medical therapies. In fact, they need a different approach. They need a system to be able to work to understand what's the root cause of what's going on. In Mexico, we see the rates of diabetes being highest in all of the Americas, with over 12% of the population having type 2 diabetes. It's incredible when I travel there, and while the government is doing, making great strides to change the advertising and change the awareness, we still see the ubiquitous presence of carbonated, sugary drinks being a staple in that country. And those drinks are fueling the rise of insulin resistance, fueling the rise of cardiometabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. And the answers lie not just in lifestyle change. That's one component of the approach we take within functional medicine. But rather looking at an entire system, using the matrix to understand the imbalances, be they in gut assimilation of nutrients, of the defense and repair mechanisms of inflammation that may be due to exposure to toxins or infections that are present, the day-to-day -day movement and flow of hormones. All of these things have an impact on the development of complex chronic disease. In fact, it's the functional medicine matrix model that gives us tools for taking a systems approach to understand what is at the root cause of these complex chronic diseases and then guiding us to personalized treatment. Now, of course, we listen to the story of our patients and we use and focus on personalized lifestyle factors like physical activity, sleep, and nutrition as fundamental components of our overall therapeutic approach. But the real heart of functional medicine is taking these things within a systems view bringing the continuum of the timeline of an individual's life and being able to understand what's at the root of this illness. We look forward to bringing these tools to Mexico, to Central America, to South America, to help our brothers and sisters who are present there, to help the healthcare workers who are trying to deal with this overwhelming burden of chronic disease. We look forward to seeing you there and we look forward to seeing you at our programs, both on-site and online through the Institute for Functional Medicine over the following year. Gracias.